welcome to Fish to See. And the surf fishing today has been crap, so we'll see what we get into out here. Hopefully something to put in the cooler. good in the fryer too. deflates and goes out of my hand you got so <laughs> we're putting on a piece of cut up pinfish 
that's that size right there about the big end of my finger tiny or else they just rip it off on dad's hook and didn't know it because he's so tiny. Look at him. Stop. He's ready to go with them blue arms. <laughs> he's got me right there. I didn't re realize he could look how crooked he's got that arm. Let him do what he does. You got a butter yet. That's why it hurts. Yeah. So. Or pull, pull your finger back towards you. There, there we go. <laughs> he got his payback. <laughs> He's almost a keeper size, but we ain't keeping him. So we're going to let him go. Bye bye, Krabby. <laughs> it's gotten dark on us, it's gotten chilly. Let's go clean some puffers. We got given one actually while we were out there on the dock. He wasn't going to eat it and gut hooked it. So we glad we took it off his hands. But we're going to show you how we clean up these delicious puffer fish, which are the chicken of the sea. The chicken wing of the sea, I guess, would be the correct term. But you need to get you a good sturdy sharp knife, a sturdy fork, and a good glove. They don't, like I said before, they have these spines that hurt. You can't really see them, but you might can hear that. That hurts your fingers. But the easiest and fastest way we've found so far to clean these is to find the back of the school, which is typically around the gill fin area. And you wanna make a cut straight down until you hear a pop which means you've gotten through the backbone. See that backbone right there. Then you take your fork, and you scrape that skin back a little bit. Now, if you get too far to the edge, you'll rip out through. So you wanna come back a little ways and get that in there deep. And then you just pop right out. Got your filet for the fryer. And we fry them bone in, but they're very delicious. And then you got your trash that you throw away. And that's how you clean puffer fish. So we thank y'all for sticking with us. And thank y'all for subscribing. We'll catch you guys on the next one.